Hi, I'm here today to talk about this, which is a Chinese Martin copy, a Chartan we call it. It's a D45 copy, solid spru spruce, citrus spruce top, uh, mahogany saddle, mahogany fingerboard, abalone inlay, rosewood back and sides, got um, forward reticulated braces, um, a diamond cut neck, some Grover copies, um, a Fishman uh, Precis system, uh, which has a little microphone in it, and a uh, bone nut and saddle, and um, the, the Fishman has a transducer under the, piezo transducer under the, under the bridge. So there's a lot of debate on the internet about is this, you know, it's like a Martin. No, it's not. It's not even close to a D45. Uh, anyone that would say such rubbish is, has never played a D45, never likely to ever play a D45, doesn't know what they're talking about. D45 is an awesome instrument that is, uh, you know, worth sort of 20 of these things. That being said, is it a good guitar? It's a good guitar for the money. Uh, it's kind of something between 600 and $1,000 or 400, 500 uh, and $1,000. It's pretty good value for money. Um, I've been using this at gigs. It's serving me okay. It's not too bad. Um, if anyone anything happens to it, well, you know, I don't I don't cry. But uh, how does it sound? Well, let's have a listen. Bluegrass rhythm. Fairly well balanced. The, the obvious difference is, uh, like a D45, will never break up. So you start to hit this hard, it's going to break up a little bit. Um, that being said, it's not too bad. It's pretty good. It's a loud guitar. Um, when I first got it out of the box, uh, I did specify in my order that um, I didn't want any Martin markings on it. And it come back with Martin markings, and I got pretty irate about it. But you know, what can I do? Um, you know, send it back, get it back again. That's a drama. It um, it was not playable when I got it. Um, I picked bluegrass, and uh, it the neck uh, needed a lot of relief. So I sent it to my luthier. He set it up. Uh, it cost me, you know, um, money to get it set up correctly. Uh, bit of a neck re adjustment. It hasn't moved since. So, you know, a year on, the guitar's sounding pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good for the money. Um, not bad for flat picking. Sometimes it doesn't behave, 
uh, if I hit it too hard. So if you're a, if you're a folky strummer, you're not going to notice that too much. Um, uh, it's got a fairly even tone. So what do you get for your money? You get a fairly good guitar, but you don't get a Martin. Forget the idea that this is even remotely close to a Martin. This is a Charton, a Chinese Martin copy. And it's not as good as the lawsuit Tokai's and so forth from the late 70s and early 80s, but it's a it's a good guitar for the money. So should you buy one? Well, you should buy a Martin if you can afford a Martin. Um, but it's a, it's a good guitar. Um, I don't like that it's got branding on it. Um, fake branding, that annoyed me. However, I kind of have to live with it, I guess. Um, so go forth and multiply as it will out of the Chinese factories.